Aloha and welcome to the Joy of Crafting Show brought to you by Ben Franklin Crafts. And we're continuing our holiday crafting, but you know during the holidays, what do you need a lot of? You need to make bowls. So we have Diane from Apuna Puna here to show us because she's the expert. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Everybody <laughs> comes to you. Diane, can you make me a bowl? Sure, Diane, can you make course, me a bowl? I so, can make you bowls. So just in case we actually let you have a day off or something, Let's see, how would I have to make a bowl if you're sure. not around to make it? I'll show you how to do the bowl. Okay. okay. We have a lot of Christmas ribbons, so a lot to choose from. Uh -huh. So first of all, there's the right side of the ribbon and there's the wrong side. So oh, okay. usually there's the shiny side, you know, the Christmas mm -hmm. tree. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my loop. And This is wired uh, ribbon, so it's easy to work with. How do you know how big to make your loop? It depends how big the gift or the wreath, you know, going to do it. You know, and if you want um, bigger, you make the loop bigger. Okay. So this is going to be a one-sided loop, and then the other side. Also, oh, yeah. When depends. you make your loop, you have to think like how big you want the bow, and there'll Correct. be half. Correct. About. So I'm going to gather here. Okay. And this is wire ribbon, so it's easy to work with. You can poof it. Mm -hmm. So it, on, in the back, you're going to twist it. Okay. Then you can make another loop. So I try to make it the same size as the first one. Yeah. Why do you twist it? Twist it so when I put my wire, it's easy. It's gathered already and easy to, um, you know. Okay. To um, um, and easy to hang on to. Okay, I make my another loop, and while I do this loop, I turn it to the side. Oh. Okay. okay. To the side, so mm -hmm. you have like a V. Okay. Then I twist it. Uh huh. Make another loop, and every time you make a a loop, I. Twist the behind, yeah? Twist it. Make sure you hang on tight because after a while, you know, your fingers get sore <laughs> from holding on tight. Okay, twist. And you can make as much loops if you want to, you want it nice and full. So there's, you don't have to make it, you don't. If you want to make just a few bowls, you can, but I like mine nice and full. Mm -hmm. It looks prettier too on the gift or on the wreath. Twist it. So are you going back and forth? Back and forth. Mm -hmm. So, like I started off with a V, then I bring, you know, you make you a loop on this side. side, that side, you can do it in the middle right here. And you can just fix it. So you kind of shape it as mm -hmm. you make your loop. Correct. And twist. And so you just kind of look at it mm -hmm. like, where do I need a loop? Where do you want the loop to be? Mm -hmm. And you just fill out that space. You see, I want one over here. And it twists, and, and then you know, I feel this is enough. In the beginning, mm -hmm. like this tail, mm -hmm. is there like a, like, no, I, what a I, what, rule of thumb of making it a certain? No, you can make length. it shorter. You can make it longer. Okay. Or, you know, you don't have to have a tail. You just make it really short, mm -hmm. and it won't show. Okay, I'm get my scissors. Okay. And I'm gonna trim it at an angle. So if you want it for a wreath, you want it a little longer too. So. But I'll do I add one on this side and one on the opposite side. Oh, okay. Okay, and cut it at an angle. Then you're gonna get your wire. You can also use a ribbon too, but wire is good too when you want to tie it. And put mm -hmm. it where your thumb is. Then I'm gonna twist it backwards. Mm -hmm. Get the two ends of the wire, grab it. Pinch it down, and with this hand, I'm going to just grab the bow and pinch it down, and I'm going to twist the wire. When you're making your bow, you're actually looking at it. So when you're making your loops, your loops are always on the bottom. On the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then, and all you do is poof it, and arrange it how you want the bow to face you. Yeah? What's good about wire ribbon? You know, it can't tell if you make a mistake, but if you're using regular acetate ribbon or satin ribbon, it's harder to work with. So this is a good for... This is good for wreath too. For wreath beginners. For presents and for beginners too. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my... <laughs> and then a lot of people, they'll, they'll make these bowls and they'll actually use them as decorations. For decoration. On, on the tree as fillers. Mm -hmm. And you also can use it for wedding too. All you do is make the the streamers longer. Oh, like a pew, for the pews. Pew bowl? Uh, yeah, for the pews. Uh huh. Uh huh. And you make it longer. You can add your flowers on the top. 
Are more and more people using this type of ribbon also for their um, gifts? For presents. Uh -huh. yeah. When you do a gift present, you just, you know, you tie how you tie the box, crisscross, mm -hmm. and then you just add your ribbon on top of that. You can also make tiny ones, and you can use it for little girls' hair too. Oh, that's, that's cool. cute. I'll show I, you a smaller yeah, one. Yeah, why don't you, you show us a smaller, smaller one? one with a, uh, mm -hmm. not a as wide. A little smaller. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And I'm using a peppermint ribbon. Mm hmm. And I'll, so you make the loop smaller. Same thing. Gather. Gather. Same thing. I'm gonna do a twist on the back. Mm hmm. Make your loop. Twist. Then I want it to face that way into a V. And you can twist. Okay. Twist, or you can just bend it too. Mm -hmm. That way it'll just go this way. So you mean you work on one side first? Mm -hmm. Top, bottom, top, bottom, yeah. Then twist. You make it look so easy. It's it's just <laughs> a lot of years of experience. <laughs> Practice. But that's you the gotta only way keep you on practicing, practicing, yes. For some people, they have a hard time hanging on to it. Uh -huh. What's the hardest part is when they have to tie the middle. They let go. Yeah, I, I'll show you the one. Uh, you can tie this one with the ribbon. Okay. So I want to trim this at an angle. Oh wait, I think I got this one upside. No, I got it the right side. <laughs> hard to tell. Then I'll grab. A piece of this. Uh huh. And at the middle of this ribbon, I'm going to gather it. Oh, okay. Like this. Mm -hmm. And where your thumb is, you're going to grab it with your thumb. Mm -hmm. You're going to get the two around. tails, bring it in the back. Okay. And what I do, I pinch it down really hard. Mm -hmm. And with this hand, I'm going to grab it, and pinch it down. And you just tie it. So it helps kind of mm -hmm. gather it and And you also it. use your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> One of your best tools, right? <laughs> yeah. Fingernails, I, thumbs, correct. teeth. Correct. <laughs> okay. Those are cute. That would look cute on presents, too. Small little gifts, too. Mm -hmm. You want to wear it on your hair? You can wear it on your hair, yeah, too. Yeah, you could, actually. <laughs> okay, so that's my ribbon. That's good. And okay, for those of us who forget, we can come by the store and and mm -hmm. you can, can you ask show us how to make a ribbon. Sure, a you bowl? can ask for me, and I can sure help you. That's great because a lot of times, like I said, I mean, bowls are not just for Christmas time; it's for all, all like how you said, weddings, Easter even for baskets. birthdays. Mm -hmm. You know, everything. Yeah, you. Uh, the bowl is like the finishing touch to a lot of different yes. projects. Yes. So this is great. And it's something, like you said, if we keep practicing, we'll get better and better. And then we can work our way to the harder ribbons. The bigger ribbon, the satin ribbons. Because those, those like, you can't, you have to already know how to um, manipulate the ribbon, yeah? And graduation, when you do two colors, oh, yeah. that takes time. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. And you're going to come back later. Now, this was bow making so mm -hmm. that we know what to do. But you're going to come back and show us how to make another beautiful wreath. Yeah? Yes, I am. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, we're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back. <laughs>